Hi everybody. Uh, today I uh, I want to show you how I made my my babies for uh, albums. My my past uh, albums that I made. I I have received a lot of uh, questions and uh, how I make it. So this is a little tutorial uh, how I made them. This is a uh, uh, one of them. This is a boy. I use uh, for my babies. I use the um, Cricut cartridge uh, new arrival. And in the page uh, 97, uh, this book has a lot of different babies. But uh, for this tutorial, I will be using the baby that comes in the 97 page that is crawling and as you can see from there and it's a there are two babies here one of them is made uh, with a shadow and the other one is blackout um, when I'm doing this baby is I want you know a regular size baby uh, I use the blackout, but it's a, I want more, a, you know, like a shabby baby, little fatty. Um, I use the um, the shadow, the shadow only. And of course, you can use uh, the the pamper. You can use another color or another kind of paper, so make more the baby more cute, you know. Okay. Um, on the on this occasion, I want to use two different kinds of paper so you can see if like today when I was you know at the beginning of the preparing everything to do this tutorial I find out that I, I am running out from my light pink uh, paper that I only use for my babies so I decide to make this um, in two different ways so in some case that this happened to you you know what to do okay this one is uh, the light pink paper that I use for my babies and this one is a regular cardstock uh, white color you can see here this baby have uh, her, her color is a uh, or his color is, you know, like a pink. Oh my God! I'm sorry for my dogs. They are barking because it's uh, a little windy here. Uh, I live in Connecticut, and it's a wind, windy day today, so they bark every time. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, you can see here, this baby is uh, like a a good color for a baby. What I did, this one was white color cardstock like this one, and look the difference. I wanna, I will be doing both of them. You know, the the pink color and the the white color, and you will see that there is no different in the in this. Um, to paint the baby, this one, I use the. I always make like um, uh, an example first to see how it looks, and then I, if I like the the finished product, so I use it. Uh, these are my uh, copied colors, skin color that I have, and for this baby, I try the the light. This light is a little light, and this one is more darker color. So I use for this baby that I um, this one here. I use the um, this color is the uh, the name is uh, E zero uh, zero, and the name is Skin White. So you can use one of, or twice depending how dark do you want that that color or just you can use whatever color skin do you want to use with your baby 
Okay, let me change my camera from the place that I have it. <laughs> and let me turn around. And I hope you can see really close how uh, I am doing my babies. Let me just adjust the, the camera here so you will have a better position to see the what I did. I hope the, the camera doesn't fall down. Let me start with the, the white car stock and then we will be doing the the, this will be for the girl and this one will be a boy like this one here okay so the first thing that I do is take my uh, copy it's a it's a uh, let me see if you can see it from there okay it's a E00 skin white and I use the the side that is more big for this let me do this first uh, for the boys, sometimes I prefer to cut the, the the hair that comes in the in the die cut. Uh, sometimes I use it, sometimes not. Nah, all depending. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the the copy color. I am not an expert. Um, doing the painting with a copy. I am a beginner on this. But something that I learned is use a circular motion when you are using your copy and you will have um, a really good uh, tone in your copy markers. It's, you know, Yes, this area you can go around, you can go, it doesn't matter, it's just coloring the paper. You will be adding more details later if you want. You see? Now we have a nice clear uh, skin tone for the our baby. Okay, uh, because we are doing the be the boy first. Um, I have um, these stamps. I hope you can see it from there. Is uh, from Pishikin stamps. Oops, sorry, I knew it. <laughs> um, it's a Pishikin stamps and comes with. Um, I have two of them. These ones with the, you know, the big eyes, uh, open eyes, uh, for, I like this one for uh, the girl, and this one is more like a for boys. So let me move my camera again to the plate that it was before, I think it's better. And then from there, we can, let's see if we can do the baby. I'm trying to get a, a good um, picture of the, what I am doing, so you can see closely. Okay, uh, the stamps come with the, you know, the size, one inch, three quarter, like, just, I don't know if you can see it from there. Okay, we will be using uh, one inch, because I forgot to tell you that I cut my babies, this is the two um, two and a half inch. This baby, uh, you can see there. It's uh, two and a half inch. So depending, because all of them, all these stems are the same but different sizes. So if I want him smiling, or in this case, I use that this one. He's smiling there. Let me use the same one so you can see how it looks. It's uh, this one here. Okay, so. And I like to use uh, uh, Timber Brown 
ink say on uh, for my for my when I'm doing the, the the faces I like that color so let me place the face uh, you can see it from there a little bit more I hope everybody can see it sorry girls I'm doing my best and here we have the face doesn't have to be you know perfect it doesn't have to be like that because you you will be adding more details later on so okay let me remove my stamp here so okay here we go uh, we have the baby with the face on now we want to add the the hair and this one I will use a uh, um, this is a Prismacolor dark brown uh, color and color pen and I just like to start from ear through the center from from the ear to the center like this just a little bit and then I do the same thing in the other side. You can be more specific, more dark color in the second time. And now from the top to the to the face, covering the face, I just like to do like this. A little, you know, hairs here and there. Like this. Now you see. Now, for more details on the hair, I use the um, Faber Castell uh, pants in black or brown, it doesn't matter. I use the small side pen and I just add from the top to the hair at the front just a little bit more like a highlight or, or so. Like that. so we'll have more details in in the hair on the hair okay now uh, because they you know doesn't have any kind of uh, definition here I just use a regular pen and I uh, just make like the other one very light uh, marks like detailing more you know the muscles and belly like this just a little bit now with the the pen same side the small one I just make this details more specifics and darker just like this now the next step that I do is um, I take my uh, it's a Faber-Castell uh, colorized uh, carmine red is the, this color and I just add a little bit in mouth it's in that and in that Air areas that I uh, just uh, add the muscles and the definition of the the leg here. Oops! oops. Oh my God! You, uh, girls, you don't have any idea where I have my camera to catch a, a good uh, a good pictures for for this tutorial. <laughs> okay. Um, let me write it right here. Just a little bit the what I use the with when when I use the pen. Okay, here we go. Now we have uh, more definition in the baby. Let me add another detail. Just 
the ears here a little bit and just keep points in the nose right here like that and we have our baby here but it's not finished it's not finished yet I like to use um, my jelly roll in white color and make more details in the eyes like that and for the end I use my my uh, shulks this this one are the um, pa uh, pastel uh, shades see I, I I don't move the, the camera again opening this I hope not okay good and I just use a little bit of the uh, pink color just adding a little bit more detail to the cheeks a little bit on the nose body and that's it voila oh I forget in this one I use uh, you can see the the eyes are like a little bit more um, glossy so if you want you can use just a little bit of your glossy essence, essence to the eyes And that's it, we have the, the baby boys right here. So in another video, I will be making the, the baby girl. Okay, see you later, bye.